I wanted to do this special event ever since I started making videos. I started making videos in I think June and I planned on doing it in the first March but that never came around. I cannot wait anymore and we're going to do it. Welcome to International Movie Month for this first edition of International Movie Month because this special event is going to be a recurring one, meaning every year we're going to return to this special event. The way that I decided to do this is just go to random countries and you can let me know down in the comments if you want a special uh, a special country to analyze and I'm just going to give you guys my five favorite movies from there of course I'm going to give other picks as well first up we have my second favorite cinema industry and that is South Korea by the by I'm the movie guy and let's start this list I don't know if you guys are aware but South Korea makes some of the best gangster movies out there I myself am a huge fan of gangster movies so I wanted to check them out the man from nowhere and a bittersweet life are two fantastic picks for this number five spot but they are very much well known if you haven't seen them you should definitely go check them out they're both very dark and very very violent however I decided to go with a movie that is more recent and a little bit overlooked I'm talking about the outlaws I watched this film a couple of weeks ago and I liked it so much that I decided to include it in this list it's recent from 2017 and it's also based on real life events a detective from Seoul tries to keep the peace between three gangs, a Korean and a Chinese one, who are beefing over territory. It starts Ma Dok Sok, so there is some star power and he's great here. The story is interesting and not difficult to follow along despite the multitude of characters. The action is intense with chases, hand-to-hand -hand fighting and the pace is frenetic and never lets up. While I don't think that is the best gangster film of all time from Korea, I think it's the best recent gangster movie. Comedy is also a very important aspect in Korean movies. Even in the most serious films, you always have a goofy character or just some situations that are downright funny. So I decided to include a comedy film on this list. And I found some mixed results because some films I thought they were good, but a lot of them I thought they were kind of bad. Barking Dogs, Never Bite is hilarious, but Secretly Greatly, which is a very beloved film, I actually thought that it kind of sucked. My pick for fourth spot though is I Can Speak. An important note, comedy films start and feel lighthearted all the way to the ending which is always something sad. The story is about the bond between an elderly woman who submits formal complaints about everything with a civil officer who tries to teach her English. The granny wants to learn English because she has to testify to the US Congress about her time as a comfort lady during the Second World War. This plot is treated with the utmost respect from the director despite goofing around with other topics. Despite the cheesy exterior, the film actually tackles important aspects such as relationships between Korea and Japan and the fate of Korean women in World War II. It's also inspired by true events. You come for the last, but it's the tears that get you. The success of Squid Game has given Korean movies and TV shows a whole new life. Netflix have started promoting them even more and in 2022 they're going to bring in a lot more Korean content which is only for, for the best. But the truth is that Squid Game is just one example of the brilliance of the Korean cinematography. Looking around on the Netflix library there are a couple of very interesting Korean TV shows to watch. There is Kingdom, there is Hellbound, another TV show about social comedy Commentary, but my pick for third position uh, got released just a few weeks apart from Hellbound and that is The Silent Sea. Set in the future, the whole world is left without much water. A group of agents from South Korea are sent to the moon to recover some important documents that might aid them with producing water. Excellently paced with great characters and a fantastic performance from Bai Dona in the leading role. This one is frightening, intense, it'll make you curious as to what happens next. I'm not a huge fan of TV shows, this one though quite impressed me. It's short, easy to binge and I do like to recommend it to people. Revenge movies are also incredibly popular, they're, they're basically a genre in and of itself. Mother is a fantastic thriller that could have been picked here, The Silent Sea as well. I saw the devil almost got the spot, but I chose to give it to Old Boy. One of the most recognized South Korean movies, it even spawned an awful American remake. Kidnapped and imprisoned for 15 years, Odei Su is released and he wants to find his captor. This is a sick film, first of all, let's get that out of the way. But the action is so damn thrilling, like the hallway fight, which is one of the best in cinema, period. 
It's captivating, it's sickening, but all in all, it is a masterpiece. If you have not seen Old Boy, you have to watch it, no matter your stance on subtitles or foreign cinema. We're down to the final pick, and I think you guys know where this is going. South Korea makes some of the best serial killer movies out there. Memoir of a Murderer is a great shout out. Bluebeard is interesting but doesn't quite deserve top spot. I Saw the Devil is also eligible for this entry as well, but you guys know which, I'm, uh, which film I'm going to pick. That is Memories of Murder. This is without a doubt my favorite South Korean movie. It's about the investigation into the first ever serial killer in Korea, a man who rapes and brutally kills young women. The characters are expertly written and developed. The plot is incredibly interesting, the pace never lets up. This is Bong Joho's masterpiece, made 17 years earlier than when he started getting the awards that he deserves. The score haunts the viewer, the message satires and pays respect and the actors show their pedigree. This is the Korean film to watch. Which is your favorite South Korean movie? Let me know down in the comments. While you are there, press that like and subscribe button. Press the bell to get notifications every time my videos get uploaded. And until next time, keep on watching movies, guys.